welcome back guys so today I'm going to show you how to sow your seeds through the method called winter sowing so it's really a simple method that I have never thought I would actually do um, in Florida since we can actually sow outside but some of us are very impatient and cannot wait till it gets warm outside in fact look at me I am in a jacket because right now it's 46 degrees in Central Florida and tomorrow tonight it will go down to the 30s so yes we do get cold here but so this is very easy as you can see I've actually sown um, in early January some or actually in the middle of January I have some drugs already that I've sown so this is very quick and simple and actually very effective i um, planted or sowed seeds 15 drugs uh, 15 different varieties and all but three so i'm still waiting for those three they may just be a little slow have actually sprouted already so here are the materials that you're going to need you will need actually just gallon milk jugs you can use any really um, empty white it, it's important that it's white because you do want the sun to get through and penetrate and not have have blocking of the sunlight so you will need milk or water jugs that are empty make sure you wash them and you are going to use something to um, bore holes on the water jug so I use my hot glue gun so this is what i used and i just don't put the glue stick and then as here as, as i'm showing you how to do it here it's very easy i did this earlier already inside so that i can plug it to the socket inside and then if you don't have a hot glue gun i've actually seen somebody just um, heat up the end of a screwdriver and that's what they used to to punch holes into the plastic jars you will also you need some box cutters just be very careful or a knife and a scissors all our scissors for the garden are very really dirty you need marking pens a sharpie and you will need duct tape it is important that you use duct tape because um, the others will just you are going to be leaving these jugs outside so it's really important that the duct tape remains intact you will also need and this is key i don't use this method does not require you to use those special seed germination soil i use plain old potting soil and so for today i have i have several in the in in the house in the garden but i'm using this one from happy frog from it's called happy frog from fox farm um so i am actually using this and so you can use just direct potting soil and the other thing is you will need some vermiculite to actually prevent from water loss and of course you will need water so let's get started for today i am going to sow these two flowers um and this is the status the cotton candy blend and we are going to also sow ajirato it's called the blue planet so let's go ahead and get started i have kind of moistened the soil already a little bit of water and i should probably get my gloves so hold on a minute so as i said I've already pre-moistened the soil here so she can see it's a it's damp it's not wet wet it's just a little bit damp so here it is okay so now all we have to do is put soil in here I put soil just probably about all the way to the top leaving about an inch uh, of uh, on the top so I tap it in 
so it's about that much. So you can do this two ways when you put the seeds in. You can either sprinkle it all over the place or you can um, punch holes on the side and drop it. So all I'm going to do is literally just drop the, the seeds, make a little bit of an indentation here. Or you can poke it with your, with your fingers. Just, you know, you're just leaving a little bit of an indentation. So I'm going to put three seeds per, per little indentation. These are tiny seeds, not as tiny as Snapdragon ones. So I'm going to put three in each. If you have, if you put more, no big deal. It's probably better just so you have a little bit more uh, chance of, um, of germination, more probability or higher probability of germination. So I'm just gonna do it this way and that's it. And I am going to mini trowel so I'm just going to cover it all up and then we're going to put some vermiculite on top Label it with Ageratum. And today is February 3rd, 2021. Perfect. Also gonna write it on the tape. Ajiratu. Two, three. And that is it. You have just winter sown some seeds. So as you can see, you have the holes here and you have drainage holes. Now we're gonna open the two that I did already, just two of them. So this is the um, amaranth, burgundy amaranth. So uh, I sewed this on January. See, it gets it gets erased. The labels get erased when you put it here. So I did this in uh, on January 18th. So this one I sewed in January 18th. And the dill, this is the fern leaf dill. I sewed it the same day. So these are both January 18. So let's look at what we have here. So this one is the, the amaranth. So let's just open this up. Sometimes it's hard, so I'm gonna cut it. Man, this duct tape is really tight. So, so here you go. Look at that. Check that out. So that is the the amaranth, the burgundy amaranth. So it is so beautiful. So let's check on the dill. The dill is the same. Ah, 
take a look how cool so that is it thank you guys for joining me and go try it and let me know in this in the comments below see how it goes for you and um i think this is so cool even for students right now who are working and studying um in online go ahead and get some seeds packet of seeds from walmart or home depot or lowe's if you have empty milk jugs you have some old potting soil laying around go ahead and do that um it is absolutely easy and as you can see so easy and simple well thank you so much for joining me today uh check back again for some more gardening and cut flower uh farm information um, and if you haven't done so go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that bell to be notified the next time I post another video thank you again so very much and have a wonderful day